of the major problems in generating electricity from non-renewable energy sources such as fossil fuels is the widespread release of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. Air pollution and the gradual loss of animal and aquatic habitats are not the only problems because the reserve of these fossil fuels are running out. Current innovative ideas such as using wind and river energy as well as sunlight are not applicable everywhere because not all countries have bright sunny days, rivers or strong winds. The geographical limitations have made the use of renewable energy not suitable for all regions of our planet. In such complex conditions, I thought I should create a sustainable and eternal energy. An energy that is not dependent on geography and weather conditions and also is non polluting and can be used in all regions of the world. So I invented a very large engine that worked forever using the laws of physics resulting from instantaneous acceleration and gravitational drag. Of course, this law of physics had been discovered and presented centuries ago, but using it as a driving force for the talk of a large generator had never been done. So I designed a new system to use this law of physics and connect it to a generator to produce electricity. According to many tests I did through physics computer simulations, I got a very good result of continuous and eternal rotational motion with high power. I added high density metal bolts to achieve maximum torque power. These balls are placed on a rotating circle with mechanical arms. When the mechanical arms reach 45 degree limit, they are pulled down by gravity and this pull becomes stronger and faster when the end of each mechanical arm is connected to a very heavy metal ball. For continuous and eternal motion, we need a cycle of this system. For this purpose, I designed six moving mechanical arms that are connected to six metal balls. Increase the speed and power of the main shaft by placing certain gravity motors. The certain motors create a more powerful drag. And finally, to transfer power to the generator, I used a hybrid gearbox. By calculating the instantaneous acceleration based on mathematical data, we can determine how many arms will be needed in proportion to the diameter of the rotating circle. To start these gravity motors, we only need a push using an air pump or even using a hand jack. At first glance, this engine may seem simple, but to have continuous rotation, we need to make precise calculations on the distances and sizes of the length and weight of the mechanical arcs. But to have continuous rotation, we need to make precise calculations on the distances and sizes of the length and weight of the mechanical arcs. In other words, before the gravitational pull and drag of the ball reaches half its strength, the next ball must be in the gravitational pull phase. Only with this arrangement, we will have a fast and absolute rotation circle. The power obtained from this direct rotating depends on the volume and weight and size of the engine. If we can make the gravity engine in larger dimensions, then ultimately we will have more power to generate more electricity. My name is Ali Purahmad. To respect the copyright of my ideas, you contact me by email that's in the final card list of this video if you want to purchase the intellectual rights of my ideas and use them. Thank you for watching.